This is a Land Rover Series 3 five main bearing engine with a leaking front crank oil seal. As far as I can tell, all two and a quarter Land Rover engines have exactly the same process and the same materials to fix this. And today I'm going to have a go at fixing this one. So here we are at the front of the vehicle. If we come down, that's where you put your starter handle through there. Pulley wheel. What we're looking for is up behind there. That's where it's leaking. So here we are underneath the engine. There's the dog nut, pulley wheel there. And the seal that's leaking is there behind that flange. So we've got to take that off, this off, that has to come off. And then the seal is in there just behind it. Now I've deliberated long and hard about this. Do I take the whole front valance there, take that section out altogether and give myself more room to work? Yes, I would have a bit more room to work, but that's a lot of time in taking that out. I've got to drain down the water, I've got to drain the oil. This has got an oil cooler, there's oil cooler pipes to come off it. I also spent ages getting all that wiring beautiful and neat and tidy. I'd have to undo all that as well. And I suspect everybody's the same as me. We'd rather avoid that if possible. So I'm going to try and do it from here. It's not too bad. There is. There's things in the way, but I can get to there. And once I'm in there, there's a fair bit of room. So the first thing I've got to do is get that nut off. They are notorious for being hard to get off. So I'm going to try every trick in the book with that. I'll then need to get a puller onto this pulley wheel and that's the cowl off the uh, radiator. I don't know whether that's going to be in the way of that. So let's get on with it. So here we go, we're straight into it. This is a 41 millimeter socket and it is loose on there. And I haven't got anything else near that size. So this one's going to have to do. So this is what I've got. I'll put it onto there, onto the nut. It doesn't matter what position I put it in, that bar is hitting the axle, so I can't really get a purchase. And I would be able to if I didn't have the radiator in. But anyway, I'm going to try something. It's a bit sketchy. So here what I've done. Shoved a piece of 3B2 through there, clamped it up, and the other end of that is pushing onto the socket to keep it pressed against the nut there and the bar of the wrench comes down and is sat on the axle and what I'm going to do now which is the sketchy bit is I'm going to turn the engine over and see if I'll undo that nut <laughs> now we're having fun so I'll disconnect the coil because I don't want it to actually start and reconnect the battery See? Okay, let's give it a whirl. Did that do it? By George, I think it's got it. Oh, let's try this. That was fun. <laughs> oh, there's the first prize. <laughs> so this is where we're up to. I've got to pull the pulley wheel off with a puller. I think I'll have to put that back in to do that. And also I need to slacken off the alternator, get that belt out of the way.
Okay, what's happened here now is that I've reached the end of the travel on that nut, so I've got to find something else now to put in here that I can pull against with a puller. I've tried hitting it with a hammer and it's still not coming, so I'll have to keep pulling. Right, so what I've found is this big bolt, I think it's something like an M15, uh, two inches long. If I stick that in that hole, yeah, that's stopped against something, let's try again. Right, that hasn't worked either, so what I've done now, what these actually are is uh, tow bar bolts. So I'm just, I'll put a nut on there as well to just give me that distance. I can't believe it hasn't come off, it must be right at the end, but what I can do now, with the because I've got the bolt on it, I can wind the bolt out a bit and try again. Right, there we are, that's the issue. It's stuck against that uh, radiator fan cowling. It's only got millimetres to go. So I ain't taking that cowling off, it's going to get customised. Right, I've managed to get that cowling above the pulley and let it come off. Oh, well, hey, gotcha! I win! <laughs> There we are. What we're looking for is behind this plate. So this one is screwed on with little Phillips head screws. I believe from the factory they were riveted in so you'd have to drill the rivets out. I suppose you may be able to get there and make sure you pick up all the bits that you left behind. So let's try and get that plate off now. I'm just going to shove a bit of kitchen roll in there. So none of this goes in there just while I clean up, try and clean up this mess around the outside of it. Let's clean them off, but they look like they've seen a bit of action. They don't look brand new, them heads. Let's try and get them out. Well, I've got this long screwdriver. I can get down here. Let's see. Oh, nope. Yeah, so tight. Oh, God, nothing. Whatsoever. Right, moved one, I think. Yep. That's really hurt in my hand. Right, so another one. Oh, that's two. I'm going to find a glove. I think there's a, a welded seam in here that's really sticking right in my finger. That's bad, that didn't move. I've cleaned those heads out a bit more. I'll leave that one and move on to the next one. on this one. Yep. 
me out. Stop going. I can't get the angle on it. Ah. Nope. The headlock is rounded off on this one. <coughs> no. Oh dear. Oh dear. So I've got one, two, three. Three wins. <coughs> and five fails. Uh, that's what we're dealing with. These little tiny screws in there. They're kind of very wedge shaped. So I've got four of them loose now. I've got four to go. I'm going to try actually tapping the heads and see if that loosens them. That's one more. Three stubborn blighters to go. Right, I've got three left. Before I've got no heads on them at all, I'm going to try and cut some slots in them and see if I can get them with a flat screwdriver. And then did it go? Ooh. Yeah, got it. Two to go. Something happened then. Hope it wasn't the head snapping off. Don't know what happened to that one. Let's try this one. I think the head snapped on that one. Ah, got that one. One left. One little horror. If it snapped off, I'll customise that one a bit more. Something happened then. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yes, I win. <laughs> Come on, brilliant. Hip hip hooray. There is the offending article. Oh, we hope that's what it was. Yeah, don't want to come out. I think I'm going to leave that there for today and let the comments come in from you fellas that know more than I do about this. These little holes go all the way through, so there is uh, a potential for oil leaks there looking at the back of this and there's oil on the back of that and there's you know there's obviously oil being getting between the two you know this pulley wheel there's there's obvious wear in that now if I put the ruler against you can just see the light shining through is that any good or do I need to replace that as well? This is just going to leak again. Okay, I'm going to leave that one here for today. Um, I've had an awful lot of fun I, that, doing that thing with the starter motor on the nut. I've always wanted to have a go at that. I wondered whether it was a myth perhaps, but no, it's not. It's an actual fact and, and it can be done. 
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching me struggle, learning as I go. And the reason I'm leaving it here is because I really would like some feedback from you fellas that know more than me. I know there's a lot of you out there. Do I renew that pulley wheel? What do I do about those holes that go straight into that casing that there are obvious opportunity for oil to leak out of there? Please put your comments in. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.